Greetings and welcome to episode 24 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign and this my friends how we left it last time where we are indeed my friends able now able at last to finally sort of stabilize our economy and our infrastructure and the reason we're able to do that is because we have stayed out of the wars that are currently raging in Europe here. The wars here my friends are absolutely titanic here. We have a huge struggle against Poland and against France. So France and Poland are fighting each other with an absolute brutal war here. I kid you not my friends it really is a vicious vicious war and to throw further sort of flames into that pot as it were we have Prussia now attacking Poland as well and we also have Sweden and Russia fighting each other as well. So we've got this whole swirl of sort of you know just a mass war here. Europe, specifically Central Europe is absolutely ablaze at the moment and then just to further complicate things the Netherlands a rebellion in the Netherlands took place and now Netherlands is back under Dutch control. For how long that might be we don't know but we did we did supply the Dutch here with a, a quite a lot of technology here hopefully to keep them in the Netherlands, keep them in control of the Netherlands, in, in control of Amsterdam and that just gives us possibly a future sort of staging area if they can hold and if they can build who knows because with French sort of uh, you know the French gaze as it were the French um, turn their, into their gaze to sort of the centre of their fight here with Poland that looks most of their sort of infantry most of their sort of huge armies are in the centre here aiming towards a Polish sort of cities and towns entering, trying to enter into mo mo a lot of these Polish territories as you can see here right in Vienna and Hungary so that's really really close to Poland itself here so maybe just maybe they've taken the eye off the ball here in terms of the Netherlands and that's just allowed this Dutch rebellion to take, take hold they've recaptured their capital and this could possibly be the start of maybe the Dutch starting to strike back against the French but remember the French are exceptionally powerful they are probably the most powerful nation apart from the Russians in this campaign I kid you not and look at Russia as my friends I mean Russia has taken Stockholm Norway it did lose St. Petersburg here which was a bit of a shock they've, they've still haven't taken Finland and of course we've got this Copenhagen here Denmark here and actually Swedish have actually rebuilt this army quite comprehensively. That's a pretty powerful strike force they've got right there. And they're also bringing this up to an army board. So you can imagine they're very, very wealthy indeed to be able to do this quite quickly like that. So, you know, really is Europe is ablaze. And what we're trying to do now, because a couple of years ago, my friends, five or six years ago, was we were standing on the precipice. We were looking over the precipice into the abyss. We had an aborted campaign against the Ottomans and the Polish because we weren't doing too bad against the Ottomans and then Russia declared war upon us and then we had Polish declared war on us we, had, we, we were just sort of trapped in this sort of this triumvirate of, na of regions here and we just we, in the end we had to evacuate we had to give Poland uh, the territory we taken for peace we had to give Russia some territory for peace as well we gave them Ankara in India we had to evacuate we then had the sort of the the sort of unless be absolutely you know, let's be absolutely honest with each other. It was a disaster. We had this disastrous campaign in America where we tried to take on the Cherokee. That was a that ended in failure when Louisiana joined the war, and we were on the and also then France joined the war. And at one stage, it looked like we were going to fail. It looks like one at one stage we were going to be completely collapsed. We were going to there's been nothing left of Britain at all. It was going to be absorbed into the other nations as they try to take us on here. But bit by bit, by giving land away. The diplomatic nous, my friends, of being able to sort of pull together a really, really excellent diplomatic sort of core. We were able to turn things around and now here we are. We have stabilized and we are continuing to stabilize. We are not going to get into involved in any wars yet. Yet, my friends, we will in the future, but not at the moment. As many of the, the, your comments have been absolutely wonderful as always. You are really exceptional commanders. As many of you have said, stay the course, Mala. Keep building, keep, you know, making sure your economy infrastructure, because with a sound economy and with a strong infrastructure, when once the sort of you know the the sort of opportunity arises, and it will arise in, in one of these wars, one war will come along where the opportunity will absolutely present itself to us, where we can launch an attack against an enemy or even even we're not an enemy at the moment but we can just we can we can launch that attack a surprise attack whilst their attention is drawn elsewhere 
for instance, just let's just let's just suppose. Imagine that France defeats Poland. This is just a hypo hypothetical sort of situation here in this campaign. They are going to come up. They're going to sort of butt heads, as it were, with Russia. Now, Russia, as you can see, is just an absolute titan. I mean, look at it. It's an absolute behemoth here. Look at this. They've got most of the Middle East. They've got a huge amount of territory, massive economy. They've got pretty much all of Scandinavia under the control. So if France and Russia eventually come to blows, as it were, and come to, you know, and, and there's a war between them, we have to be ready to strike at the opportune moment. We may have to take Russia on. We might even take on France. Who knows where we need to, where that might lead us? But we have to be prepared. Remember, luck favors the prepared mind, my friends. And we are going to be prepared for this. And that's why we've got this gentleman here, our spy here, gathering intelligence, keeping an eye on where the main clashes are. The main clashes are around here. Who knows what will happen? We just don't know yet. And that is why we're keeping a firm eye on what's going on here. But we're also keeping ourselves out of the wars. We're taking almost a semi-isolationist stance here where we're, we are trading with people, but that's as far as we have in terms of contact with others. We are trying to build up our fleet. We're trying to build up our economy. We still have these wonderful armies here that have uh, absolutely fought with distinction on the Eastern Front and in America. And now we've managed to pull them back. Remember, we did lose Edinburgh for a brief period of time and now we're bringing these regiments back up to full here and I, oh there's just this regiment here that we do need to do and we got still got 6,000 coming in despite three of our main sort of trading partners being blockaded Persia and particularly Spain and Persia they that's a real big hit for us not so much Ottoman the Ottoman Empire has shrunk considerably now we did consider striking into the Caribbean here so as you can see here the pirates still have Trinidad and Tobago, and they still have uh, Antigua and Wait, Le the Leeward Islands here. And with that, what have we got here? High yield plantation here. We've also got a, a shipyard which will be converted into a port, into a trading port. We've got a regional capital here which they've obviously upgraded. And also here we've got a low yield plantation. But to be honest with you, if we were to take these here, this would not. This would not sort of step on anybody's toes at all. Actually, this would probably go favourably with quite uh, all the other nations because we would remove this pirate threat. And the pirates, remember, are the enemy of every single nation, bar none. So if we were to take the pirates out, that would actually put us in good stead with the other nations in this campaign. All the other nations in the world would be very, very pleased that we've done that. Um, so we might potentially look forward in the future to hitting the Caribbean here, Pirates of the Caribbean, pun fully intended my friends. And we are possibly going to be looking here at striking at the Pirates, unless someone else does it before we are ready. But if, we, if no one else does, and we have the facilities, and we've got everything in, you know, sort of in situ, in theatre as it were, ready to strike against the Pirates, we might take these out, and they might be very useful for, for any operations in the Caribbean further down the road and there's also these two here of Jamaica and the Bahamas which were ex sort of British Empire assets which we had to give to the Ottomans for peace but who knows if the Ottoman Empire collapses and we've got these territories here it might be that we might be able to get ourselves a, so a sort of a small little enclave here of Caribbean islands which again would serve very well here and remember at all times keeping that diplomatic niceties coming at every possible time we can and also excellent suggestion as well from Michael that I start trading some of my technologies for money which I think I'll probably do very very soon but to be honest with you most of the nations have got all of the all of the technology but we can have a look at probably some of the maybe the Netherlands instead of giving it to them we can maybe they can buy some office we'll give some to them as well at the same time but my word these these battles here are absolutely exceptional they really are right what else can we do? We've got 669. What else have we got building here? I have forgotten actually. Um, let's have a look here. We've got everything else being built. Ah, so we've got this Weaver's Cottage here. That'll give us 900 to the regional wealth here of Scotland, which again is very, very welcome. Until we get steam engine, we can't really upgrade here, but look at that. That's going to absolutely have our economy sh off the charts here. We did. There was a slight concern at one time that Ireland might go into turn into rebellion. But thankfully, that is not too bad. The income here is nearly 3,000, which is excellent for us. It really is wonderful. And again, the, the ports are bustling here. Look at this. 
absolutely bustling with trade and activity. We are going to try and get up Liverpool here, this commercial port here in Liverpool. Um, that will give us additional trade routes, again, which is excellent and improves the export capacity, but again, which will bring in more money. Uh, Greenwich here, of course, pulling in a lot of money here for us, exporting and importing indeed, as you can see, as it moves through the, the nation here in and around this network, this web of roads here in England, spreading to sort of Wales, Scotland and Ireland. Wonderful to see. And we just let these other nations fight out amongst themselves. As you can see, we're friendly with almost everybody. Prussia is indifferent to us, but that's fine. Ottomans are unfriendly. Again, not a really a problem for us. Um, Louisiana are unfriendly. Now, they, they've actually gotten it. Their stance has worsened. Savoy are hostile. We might even sense... I don't think... I was trying to request peace with them again, but no, they're not. They really don't like us at all, which is fine. That's not a problem at all. And also, we have, luckily, we boosted Oxford to a college, which has given us the ability to move into uh, boosting our wealth here through technology. So, separation of powers um, here, plus, plus five to the turn wealth, and also here, joint stock companies, again, a boost to our wealth. Minus one to clamour for reform. Again, some of these reforms are going to... Wealth of Nations will be excellent for us. We need to get that. But for that, we're going to be needing to get joint stock companies. And we need to get separation of powers as well to be able to get national debt. We shall look at that. I'll drive down the cost of the army and the navy and also increase the wealth. So we really are trying to push here. But we might... We might try and get... Classical University here in uh, Oxford. Hopefully with that we can really push on our research here. But again, we're just trying to keep ourselves to ourselves here and just let things work their way through the system here in terms of Europe and their wars. But my word, there's a lot of fighting going on here, a huge amount. Who knows where it'll end up, but if we're ready, my friends, we can actually strike very hard here. Right, let's end this turn. Let's just see what happens here. Let's see what comes our way. France, who do have quite the economy, they have quite the infrastructure. The armies are absolutely fabulous for the French. Have they really are absolutely bristling at the moment? And also, my friends, uh, many of you have asked to be generals. I will. I have taken note of all of the, all of you who've asked to be generals. I will be doing sort of the general um, promoting all of you to generals in a separate video. I like to keep the videos sort of the promotions and that, so we don't eat into the time of the of the actual um, campaign itself. So we're going to be doing a separate video like I did for the USA campaign, where I will honour all of you as generals here, because all of you have deserved it, my friends. Believe it. You've all deserved to be generals. Some of the, your advice has been fantastic. It really has. Poland, nothing happening here at all with Poland. Oh, look at that, they've brought Dresden under siege to the French. They really are hammering the, the Polish really hard here. Oh, my word. I think that fight took place, and I think that possibly Dresden might fall next time around. Russia, was interesting what Russia does now, because they've, they've pretty much got control of most of Scandinavia here. I wonder if they'll try and fight their way into Copenhagen. That'll be a difficult fight. Sweden, or will Sweden counterattack indeed? And look at that, they've blockaded here, which means we've lost another trading partner. That's a difficult, it's a difficult journey we tread here. A difficult path, pirates. Ah, winter has descended upon Europe. But what has it done here? And then it looks like the Netherlands have actually have st stabilised here. Oh, Persia's destroyed. Oh, Persia was gone. Oh, Afghanistan. Wow. Does that mean that... Yes! Russia have, has taken all of the Middle East bar Damascus here. Holy smokes. But that shouldn't affect our trade too much because it just means that Russia has picked up the trade. The, we the trade we'd have had with Persia 
has now is sort of transferred by default to Russia. Wow, look at that. Persia has been absolutely taken here. Esfahan has, uh, Esfahan, should I say, has got fallen. If Spain can get their act together, we would actually have a decent amount of income here from our from trade. What's our ministers looking like here? <coughs> They're not happy here at all, are they? Justice is pretty good, actually, only because we've actually got some excellent ministers. Excellent ministers, we really do. And Afghanistan is now a new nation. And why are people not happy at ah, clamour for reform? So ideally we need to bring in probably a Royal Academy to be honest with you. That would then bring in that additional happiness. I think what we might do is we might I think we're gonna invest a commercial port. Which is gonna bring in the most money to us here. Either one of these will probably do, to be honest with you. I think we'll invest in Liverpool here. And then the rest of the money we still save. We're going to try and save some money as well if we can, if possible. Can we trade with Afghanistan, I wonder? No, we can't. They're really starting to not like us at all now, aren't they? I think what we might try and do then is... I do provinces here. Can we help to help out the national these? I wonder if we can ask for some money here. <laughs> Excellently done. Excellently done. And I'd like to thank Ma Michael as well. As well as those of you who have suggested this. This has been excellent here for us. We're going to help out the Dutch, but also we're going to be able to profit from it substantially. Okay, so that, but we're going to help them out anyway. We're going to give them, because we want to stay friendly with them if possible. So look, their wealth is feeble, their wealth is meagre. So technology, what we're going to do, we're going to give them a military syllabus so they can upgrade to drill schools. And we're also going to give them, I think we can select a breeding as well. And we also give them division of labour, I think, as well. Oh, please, Mala. Get yourself together, man. So hopefully, hopefully we can see now an improvement here. What do we have being built here? Oh my word, what a what a fantastic name there. Quick school für de Seefahrt. Koninklijk Quick School für de Seefahrt, is it? Or Seefahrt? I really do I really do apologize to my Dutch viewers for my horrific pronunciation of that then. I really do apologize. You're probably cringing in your seats as you watch this. I really do apologize, my friends. But um if anybody could break that down for me, I would appreciate it to be able to pronounce it properly, just as so I can do you justice. But it looks like they're upgrading their naval college here. If I'm not mistaken, yes they are. So it looks like they're gonna try and push um their naval recruitment here, but hopefully we've given them something which can aid them. I think what we will do... Hopefully we can build up the hopefully we can build up the bank um, a little bit more there with that, and that will hopefully, in, you know, give us a much better trade with the Dutch in the end, and that should help us significantly there. Especially if we can help the Dutch build this region, you know, because now that you can see here they've inc they're improving here the naval facilities here, if we can just keep them alive, if we can just give them that, that, that time and space they need to be able to get these, uh, then their armies up and running here quite nicely, who knows what might happen here, we might be able to get a chance to attack 
France here with them, but that could be a long way off. But again, look at that, we've got this to 30, it was at 9,000 at one time, now it's 13. We really are pushing our tax in quite high here. Right, let's end the turn, my friends, let's see what happens. If you can hear any explosions in the background, my friends, it is um, firework night, Guy Fawkes night, so, um, firework night, so it got quite a lot of fireworks going off in the background there. See what France is going to do now. I think they probably take Dresden, to be honest with you. To me, it looks like they, what they're going to do is probably take Dresden, probably even, maybe even Berlin. That'll be a huge take there by the French. It really will, and a dramatic twist because they're pushing then into Warsaw, pushing into the you know a lot of regions here. What will the Dutch do? I wonder. Will the Dutch? Oh, they have indeed. They've increased their troop numbers here, the Dutch, which is fantastic to see. Absolutely fantastic to see. It's a wonderful sight. If we can just help the Dutch get themselves, you know, some really nice troops here. Who knows, they might be able to take Brussels from the French, we might be able to help them as well. If if if, if the situation goes well, who knows? But again, they've got these fleets here and they've got an army here. We would be pushing our luck potentially. But if we can support the Dutch in striking against the French, s sort of, you know, behind the scenes, surreptitiously as it were, who knows where that might lead? Pirates. Oh yes, Ireland has now got metal roads. What have we got here? Oh my gosh, look at these. These are wonderful ministers here. Treasury has been fantastic. Look at that. That is one of the best just chiefs you can get. Secretary of War, excellent. Wow, that is fantastic. It really is. 5397. Just the Ottoman Empire now. Oh, Ottoman Poland and Sweden are all hit now, of course. What have we got here? Oh, minus two morale? Marvellous, he's a drunk. A drunkard, is he? Yes, a drunken. Not good at all, so it's pretty much minus one. Or possibly even just even there. Not good for us, but still. We shall we shall continue unabated, my friends. Two more turns into commercial port. Naval College. We can open up these then. That really would be very nice for us. Very nice indeed. We've got here in Edinburgh here. Actually, I wonder if we get the Royal Observatory here, 2000. That would help our research technology rate and also help with happiness and a tower. I think we're going to invest here in a Royal Observatory. And again, we're going to try and keep a little bit of a reserve here, trying to build up our, our finances just in case the trade collapses. You never know. You never know, my friends, what will happen in the future. It's a possibility that, you know, trade could collapse, or we could have a possibility where a, num a number of nations sort of go to war with one another, and then we would see the collapse of our trade income. But look at the Dutch here, they really are now start oh yes, excellent. They're starting now to produce more men here. Starting to get themselves in some more coherent I wonder if we can get some more money off them, but also send them some more technology. Let's have a look if they got any money available to them. Can we give them give them drills here and maybe advanced irrigation. We'll demand a thousand from them. Let's see if that'll work. Yes, indeed. But for that, we're going to also going to give them. I think we'll give them reorganized procurement. That'll help them with army board and gunnery school. Remember, we we are behind the scenes, starting to use the Dutch possibly as a proxy for a future war with France. We never know if a strong Dutch um, nation here will be a thorn in the side of the Dutch of the French, and that's what we what we want. Look at that! I knew it. 
Saxony has fallen. Oh, look at that, minus 22. That's going to be a, a massive resistance there to that. But this one is held out here, but this is isolated now. Berlin is isolated from the rest of the sort of the Polish from the Polish Empire as it were, but Poland is oh my word, look at that France is in Galicia Podolia here. Like Poland is collapsing. It's collapsing, my friends, under the weight of French power basically. But if they get too close to Russia, who knows what'll happen then? Maybe that'll be our opportunity. But who knows? But it looks like Looks like Sweden has pulled off a few troops from here, but they are being, we are being having Sweden hit, oh my goodness me, that's a strong force there. And what do they have here? Not really much to match that. Wow, those fireworks are loud tonight, good grief. We've got the French here as well. I think we might invest in another ship if we got, we've got some surplus here. So I th oh, HMS Victory, my friends. I think we can treat ourselves to HMS Victory. Look at that. What a wonderful sight. Two turns to HMS Victory, which will lead this fleet here. Look at that. Absolutely magical. We've got one first rate there. We've got here, we've got a Royal Observatory, which should improve that there. We got so we should have nearly seven thousand then. We can wait for this port in Liverpool to be built and then we shall build one here in Newcastle. But again we're squeezing everything we can out of here before we do anything else. Hopefully support the Dutch. Ottoman Empire has been hit. Sweden and Poland have been hit as well, which is a bit of a shame, but otherwise let's end the turn, my friends. France, maybe France might outstretch its supply lines, who knows? Who knows indeed? But we're going to keep ourselves abreast of all the situation going on here in Europe, but also just, oh, look at that, the Dutch are again increasing their forces. They've got a fleet out and about as well somewhere. Okay, and we're going to try and get some more money off them, but we're also going to then give them the additional technology they need here. But a, a strong Dutch contingent will definitely help us here. <laughs> oh, the diplomatic, the sort of wheeling and dealing behind the scenes. That whoa, ho, ho. we are not going to be doing anything. Their enemies are vast. Allies of France, if we could get it, if we could get in here, that's not a problem. I'm afraid Sweden, we won't be helping you. If you want us, if you want a, a, an alliance without any any sort of strings attached, you know, we I'll get involved in that alliance. Not a problem at all. Especially if France are on your side, because France are going to soon be challenging Russia. Oh, look at that! Excellent. And there it is, seven thousand five six zero eight. Anybody else hit here? It looks like no. Ooh, oh, not good. Not good. Okay, now they're at war with each other. That's why we didn't see a war. That's why we didn't see France. So. We give them here. We give them a threshing machine and a wedge formation. For that, we shall ask a thousand. Excellent. And then we shall give them as an additional, give them carcass shot, shall we? <laughs> okay, so the war with France. Look at France wants the Netherlands back here. But maybe we've just given them that. We might have just given them a chance. 
who knows if I'm not mistaken they may send a massive force over there but My eyes are looks like the Polish are just about holding on here and they're starting to bring that under control there as well what do they use army they use oh look at that Swiss guards oh. Oh. <gasps> they've taken Warsaw they have taken Warsaw that is unbelievable. My word, the might. Oh, good grief. The might of France is quite staggering. Look at the Prussians as well. Wow. Look at this. They are absolutely steamrolling the Polish. Wow. That is incredible. How will the Dutch be able to. Res I don't know how the Dutch are going to be able to fare against this. We really do have to keep ourselves out of this. Fortunately, we're very friendly with them. Do you know we're unfriendly, but can we get trade with them, I wonder? <laughs> okay, not a problem. So, boy, but technology, they've got all the technology. I'll try that once again. Nope, they're really not interested at all. Okay, Louisiana, we're going to forget about Louisiana. We're not going to be worried about that at all. I wonder if we can send them something else as well, just to help them out. We could give them canister shot as well, I think. Let's set them up as best we can here. Will the Netherlands be able to hold here? Yap Casimir. If they can get a full stack army, who knows what they might be able to do here. We have helped them. We have helped them indeed. Now we can invest now again in our commercial port. We're going to get a commercial port there. Keep the rest. We're going to just keep the rest of the money. Again, that steady, slow increase here. That was our research. Two more turns until we've got joint stock company, which is fantastic. Let's end the turn. Let's have a quick look what's going on in Europe here, because we just missed that. Look at that. Poland. The capital of Poland has fallen. Warsaw. Let's see what happens. What will France do, indeed? We're going to keep a, a check. We're going to keep a check on the advance of, of France here. Will they meet any further resistance from Poland, or is this the end of Poland as we know it? Will they now just sort of collapse utterly? Spain, Prussia, Prussia are going somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Are they going to try and keep Konigsberg back and reunite uh, Western Prussia and Eastern Prussia? At one point, I thought the Poland would just steamroll everything, but it's France that are actually spreading their their sort of their military tendrils, as it were, all over. It's if they if they you know lock horns with the f Russians, that's going to be an interesting battle. It really will. Okay, what's happened? Anything happened here at all? How are the Dutch doing? How are they faring? Got to keep. Oh, look at that Holland Guard. That is a nice, very nice indeed. Of course, they've got Army Staff College. They can get Holland Guard. Oh, oh, that is even that. Oh, minus. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear me. That's not good at all, is it? Victory's ready. Victory's ready. Look at this. Fantastic. 11,000 here. 5,639 there. We're building up a little bit of a bank here, which is going to be nice for us. Now we've got a victory here. Oh, look at that. HMS victory. What a beautiful sight. Look at that. There's a first ship of the way carrying 100 guns and more than crew of 800 men. Oh, it is wonderful. It's going to be joining the fleet here in Bristol. Look at that, we're building up ourselves a very nice little fleet. We're actually going to take this sloop out of here. And we're going to put the sloop 
here in Greenwich. We want this to be purely military uh, naval vessels here. Now, now we can invest more, but I, we don't really want to go for military just yet. Oh my word, you look at that Royal Highland Grenadiers. We can get four of them. Army board, what can we get from army board? We get black watch, lifeguards, oh my word. We can get coal stream guards. Whew. You, you just you just get the old goosebumps, don't you my friends? When you just what, list out those. This army board here, we can get the same, we can't. We, of course Edinburgh is vital to us getting those elite troops. Now, what else can we get? Naval College here, we can get gunnery school, which could give us the 12 pounders. But again, we're trying to slowly build up our economy. That's got to take precedent here. Anywhere else we can upgrade here now, because we're starting to come to the end of being able to upgrade here. So I think we're going to invest in our, in our research technology here to be able to get the research and technology we need here so we can get the modern university and we can really push out classical, econ that, classical econo economics so we can really get that research and development going here. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to... Oh, hello. Ah, excellent. Now, <coughs> I promises. Technology. Improved grape shot. And we give them diamond formation and improved and what else can we give them here to help them? We'll give them punch card loom. We shall ask for 1,000 gold. Excellent. We shall also give them something for free, just to keep them absolutely running here. I think we'll give them sour lime juice and sauerkraut. Actually, we'll give them that to help them reduce the cost of their navy. Actually, we'll give them those two. Why not? Oh, 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 oh. Let's hope they can put this into a full stack army. It would be wonderful if they could. Who else are they trading with? No one else, just us. So they're just basically relying on their farms, their powered mills here and they've got a classical university here as well but we're giving them all the technology they poss could possibly need at the moment and they are helping ourselves a great deal here I wonder if we should invest in a naval ship here to keep that navy ticking over we've got to find that that fine balancing act here the equilibrium because we don't want to be caught in the, in the cold here with this I think we'll invest here with this first rate here. It doesn't have the firepower of the others, but let's do that. <coughs> to keep our our naval fleet um, operating as more as, as best we can here. We've got some pretty good ships packed into it, but not brilliant. Especially these are not. But mind you, they're good at manoeuvrability. See if we can get two more, we'll have a full stack fleet here. We might be able to get two full fleets operating out of England here, out of Britain here. Or particularly out of England there, I say Bristol here, and probably one out of Portsmouth. Just to cover our trade lines here, and we can probably then start upgrading our uh, in, in military infrastructure. Um, just so we are ready. But again, we're just going to improve our economic infrastructure first. That takes priority. Uh, then the military will then start to have their their day, as it were. But it's um, a trade looking like the Ottoman Empire is being cut off. So does Sweden. But hopefully, Sweden will. Oh, look at that! Oh my word! Look at that fleet there. That is quite scary. It looks like they've been involved in some kind of fighting here. Oh, they've taken back, they've taken back Stockholm. Whoa, the plot thickens indeed, my friends. They've taken back Stockholm from... Oh, but... Oh, Finland's fallen to the Russians. 
and looks like St. Petersburg is under a lot of pressure there. Oh, plot thickens, it really is quite exciting to watch this, to be honest with you. Oh dear, dear, dear me, look at the size of these, are these, oh my word, these French armies are scary. These are some pretty elite armies here, they got 24 pounders. Jeepers creepers, they are demi cannons still, but these are really some very elite, you look at that. Compagnie Francais de la Marine, so basically marines, French marines, wow. Petit vis you Elite infantry, good grief, look at that, they got some fantastic infantry units. But they are absolutely smashing the Polish into the into the ground, they're grinding them into dust. But we're not concerned with that, we're, st we're concentrating on our own, our own mission here, hopefully the Dutch can build up some nice troops here. Right, let's end the turn my friends, let's see what happens here. Well this really is an interesting campaign. France. troops coming in from the Dutch and ships as well Poland Lithuania what are you going to do Poland to respond can you do anything to respond I don't think they can um, I don't think we're going to be doing that we're not going to be given <laughs> uh, no I don't think so good sir but thank you for the offer. Now, if Sweden offers us a reliance with no strings attached, then we might take that. I don't think we're going to give you two and a half thousand. I don't think we're going to be doing that. But that we can do. I tell you what, I'll counter offer and I will give you 500. It's not for mutual gain. It's not mutual gain at all, sir. I will give you a one off payment of a thousand. Wait a minute, did I do that right last time? We will offer 500. We will try 1,000. I wouldn't mind to get that with Sweden. It might just benefit us in the long run just to have that under our belt, as it were. Okay, I'm not paying you 2,500 for us for a military alliance. We don't need it. We don't need the alliance. Six three six three. So we've lost some money here, possibly from one of the trades being hit. Ah, uh, yeah, Poland's been hit. That's fine. What have we got here? Research. Yes, excellent. Now, has that finished there yet? No. Nope. One more turn. Come up for reform. Oh, that's gone up to two. So actually, that clamor for reform has been removed. Oh, look at that. Five thousand. We can actually get commercial basins as well now. <sighs> Plot thickens, my friends. Plot thickens. Here would be definitely a bonus for us. Now we're getting separation of powers here. Wait a minute. Ideally, we need to get wealth of nations. Separation of powers would give us national debt. We'll stick with that. We'll get Wealth of Nations soon. But will the Wealth of Nations give us something else to research as well? What, was, what can we get with that? I believe it's that. Machine tools, which will then give us steam engines. Machine tools. 
Oh, look at that. Minus 10 recruitment cost for all land units. Wonderful to get. Now, we're going to try and help our Dutch allies out here. Look at that. Okay, we're going to help them out here. So, we're going to offer them that and that for a thousand. We're going to get some payments off them. Yes, excellent. And then we're going to give them... We'll give them that just yet. We'll give them... <coughs> give them... You know, give them the improved great shop. Oh, they really do like us a lot, don't they? Historical grievance is minus 73, but that's fine. We can overlook that. Savoy. <coughs> Who knows where they might go from here now? Three more turns until they get the absolute creme de la creme here. Minus five cost of all naval units. We really have really helped the Dutch significantly. They wouldn't be where they are now without our help. else need know that. I don't really want to invest in any of this, just, oh, we could get Somerset House. But we don't need that just yet. We don't have the economy to sort of really stretch that just yet. But we do need to get a commercial base, but we'll wait for this, this one here to be finished in Newcastle first, before we start putting quite a lot of money into that. It'd probably be better if we just did Bristol to start with, I think. If we're going to invest in uh, commercial basin. Remember, we need to get this economy absolutely booming here. We've got how oh, long? Four more turns here, and we can really push our researches, which is what's going to really tip us in our favour. The loom. Oh, look at that! Plus twelve percent generated textile workshops. Plus twenty bonus to town wealth from textile entry. Oh my word! That's going to really boost our economy very nicely. Right. Let's keep an eye on what's going on here. We're going to keep an eye on what's going on here. So we're going to move around here and let's see what they're up to. Nothing here. There's no French here at all, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they're not already moving into here. Ooh, 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 ooh. What exactly is this, is this Russian army doing down here? that navy. Okay. My word, they are so strong. Right, let's end the turn here. I'm going to try and build a boat bank as best we can. If we can maybe get 25,000, 30,000 in the bank. Not only have we got an economy, a strong economy, a, a, a really robust infrastructure, but we've also got money in the bank there for a rainy day. Come on now. Oh my goodness me, look at the Netherlands has exploded here with troops. In Spain. Sweden. Will Sweden take Finland or Norway back, I wonder? It's a possibility. It's a possibility it might happen. But again, they've been hit here. Oh, that's such a nice... Oh, that's a fantastic to see. Oh, look at that. Oh, 7th and 8,000 here. We... I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just not going to jinx this at all. We're going to move this into there. 17,000. We're pushing this up to 14, nearly 15,000 now. If we can get this to to pay for the for the for the army upkeep, we would just be absolutely sitting pretty there for a moment. Are oh, they hitting Sweden here? Courland. Courland must be allied with Russia. No, Courland is 
under siege from Polish here. So it looks like they're being left alone here. Poland is desperately trying to get at its facilities here. But let's, let's find out where that French, where those French armies have gone. There they are. Oh my word! That is heading possibly for Minsk. Well, if we saw a war with Russia and Sweden and, and France, that would be a magnificent war to watch. Here we got seventeen thousand. Trade is still being hit, but Poland's opened up now. Sweden's still being hit. Ottomans are still being hit. Where are the Ottomans being hit? Is it out of here? Is it? Yes. Ah, there it is. Marvellous. Genoa has decided to, uh, to hit this Limassol here. So that's not brilliant for us, is it? But again, are we going to help the Dutch? Look at that, the Dutch are really starting to ramp up these troops now, which is great to see. It really is. Oh my god, that is wonderful to see. And they've got Blue Guard, which are effectively the, the Royal, the Dutch Royal Guard. Uh, can we help them out any further? They really do like us a lot. Um, we'll get joint stock come here. Let's ask for a thousand. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And we shall give them something in return. A sextant, I think. We'll give them. We'll, we'll give them. We'll give them carronades. <laughs> oh, they've hit Antwerp. They must have hit Antwerp pretty hard there. Just got those. We're going to try and get some money for those eventually. And then we really have just given the Dutch everything we can possibly give them then. And who knows where it's going to go from there. Maybe they can strike against the French. Maybe they can take Brussels. Maybe they'll take Paris. Who knows. But we've helped indirectly here, my friends. Oh, look at that. That's finished. Now we can invest in our infrastructure here. I mean, in our economy and commercial basin, I think we'll get here. That's nine, eight hundred to town wealth. Probably this is probably the best with six hundred here in Bristol. Liverpool... 400 400 and what about in Ireland here 600 so I think what we'll do we get Greenwich as a commercial base and it's going to take four turns that's quite a big lot of money there we're going to a big lot of money a large amount of money there 7,000 here that'll take us over to, to over 20,000 in the bank then my friends we're starting to build up some nice economic reserves as well which is absolutely fantastic to see I think we shall end the episode very soon, my friends, but still, what about here? 600 here in Glasgow. And what about here? 400 in Belfast. We can upgrade. As soon as we get Loom and Steam Engine, we can upgrade. To oh my goodness me. So we really do need this, uh, these, this research to finish quite soon. We'll give it two more turns until this finishes the loom power loom and then we're going to probably end the episode there with classical economics we can then get steam power cloth mill we can get steam engine once we got st get steam engine factories once we get steam engine we can get wealth of nations soon as well how long three more turns till we get a modern or classical university i beg your pardon Okay, my friends, let's end. Let's make sure how, we, how we're doing with everybody here. We're still... Prussia is unfriendly with us, which is fine. Spain is friendly, which is fine. 
I wonder if we can swap out that for that. Okay. Not a problem. Russia is still friendly with us. Ottomans are unfriendly. Allies of all oh, their province, their provinces of Russia and Mughal. So they've got some powerful forces, their friends on their side there. Alright, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens. The Dutch have got the Blue Guard, which is the Dutch Royal Guard, effectively. And I do love those the Dutch Royal Guard. They look fantastic. When you see them on the actual battlefield, the Dutch Royal Guard are absolutely incredible. The Blue Guard as it is, but they are phenomenal troops. It just isn't going to happen. It just isn't going to happen. They're enemies of France, Sweden. We're not going to get involved in any of your wars. One thousand one hundred from military alliance. <sighs> they got Russia as an enemy, Poland as an enemy. I'm prepared to do that. <sighs> it just gets worse. of Sweden and of Russia. And of France. We got France as an ally, as a sort of a proxy ally as it were. So they're still friendly with us. Everyone's still friendly with us. That's no not problem at all. Now Prussia. Can we get the radio? France is friendly, everybody's still friendly with us. Whew. Okay, the Allies, all oh, the Ottoman Empire, oh, Hanover and Allies now. That's excellent, the war with France, but again, we let's see if we can get some money off them. Troy Sextant went off, we'll ask for a thousand. Yes, thank you, good. So we'll leave, we won't give them any more, we'll try and take a thousand off them. Look at that, we've got 22,000 in the bank, Tw nearly 10,000 per turn coming in now. Oh my word, only Sweden now, only Sweden now is keeping us at, is keeping us at bay in terms of the technology. Let's see how they're doing here. Are they moving up to Minsk? Oh, they've, they've taken the raid of a large, oh, look at that, that's quite the... It's quite an army there. The Konigsberg, I think, is completely undefended, or is it? I can't see that there. But it looks like the France have taken a bit of a beating here, actually. Maybe, just maybe, that Poland has thrown them back. Oh, Berlin's fallen. Berlin has fallen to Prussia. Wow. Wow, Poland is basically falling apart here. It really is. 2,281 tax economy needs to be boosted even further so I think we'll, we will invest 5,000 we're coming in next 9,000 I think we'll invest here in this commercial base and here in Bristol so we'll do that, we've got 17,000 there in the bank still that's going to probably boost our trade income there to nearly over 10,000 when that comes in Ooh, wow, this really is pretty intense in terms of what we've got to do. We've just got to find that fine balance and act here. But we're on the side here now of Sweden because we're allies. Well, we can give them something here. Ah, excellent. We've got a thousand out of that. That is nice to see here. So maybe, just maybe, now Sweden can do something about Russia here, and maybe Norway. If they can retake this, oh, they've taken Saint Petersburg. Saint Petersburg has fallen to the Russians. That could be problematic. 
we could see Russia finally taking all of Scandinavia. If Stockholm falls and Copenhagen falls, that's the end of Sweden. Ooh. And look at that, they're right on the doorstep here. They cross the North Sea and they're going to hit they're us. But indeed, they're also just across away from France as well. How are the Dutch doing here? Oh, look at that army here. What a magnificent sight. And there. Oh, look at that Dutch Royal Guard, the Blue Guard. Look at that. Oh, my word. They are magnificent. Oh, the Holland Guard. National leader and his immediate family. They're charged with protecting the national leader. And these are the royal family. Oh, my word. What a magnificent sight there. And they're, they're allied with these. Who are Hanover at war with? Oh, with France. So they've actually allied with Hanover here. Could we be seeing possibly an attack on French territory? Okay. Could we help over Hanover here? Could we just give them that? Well, have they got any mines? Let's have a look first. Let's try and sort to help them out as well. Who knows? Maybe that'll help Hanover, especially if they can ally here with the with the Dutch. Almost done there. We might be able to supply the Dutch with some money as well eventually. Right, one last turn here, my friends. And then we're going to call, we're going to end this episode. But what an episode it's been in terms of what's happening here. It really has been exceptional. All right, let's end the turn. Looks like, looks like Prussia has become another force again. France, what will you be doing, France? I think ne Netherlands have, or oh, the Netherlands have moved troops up closer to the border there. Poland, Russia. If Russia takes Stockholm, that will be, that will be something to behold. It really will. New Spain, Knights of St John Mughal Empire. I wonder if we can help out Hanover a bit more. Oh, power loom. Oh, look at that. Tw 28,000. 28,000. 10,000 income. Oh, my word. What's happening here? F France don't really have anything here at the moment. The Dutch could possibly strike against the French. I oh, my word. The Dutch Royal Guard, re oh my word, they're exceptional art. Look at that. Look at that force there. Can we help out Hanover? Who looks like they've repaired that here. We're going to send Hanover some additional technology here. We're going to send them a basic steam pump. See if we can get a payment for it first. No, so we'll send it to them. <laughs> Just to keep things, because they are allied here. Oh, they're allied with Russia as well. They're at war with France, but it doesn't matter. Is there anybody else who would France at war with? They're at war with Hanover, Mughal, Ottomans, pirates, Poland. They've already got all those, so they don't need our help on that turn. But still, got nothing in there at all. Mind you, France might have run out of steam here. 
but Prussia have taken Berlin. This is what fascinates me here, is this what the Dutch are going to do? Will the Dutch go for, for Flanders here, for, for Brussels? If they do, they'll take this port here, the Antwerp, and then they can start building up a fleet. Who knows? This might be the undoing of the French, or it might just be a flash in the pan. Now it's over a thousand per turn here for the, for the Dutch. What can we send them anything else? We can send them power loom, so let's do that. Let's see if we can get any more off them. Technology, we'll send them longitude watch for a thousand. I like it. I like that indeed. We'll take it. Indefinite military access here to the Netherlands. Who knows when that might come in handy there for us. And we've also been boosting the Hanov Hanoverians here. Who knows where that might lead. Maybe they'll combine together to fight the French. Maybe they won't, but it won't be our problem. So we're going to invest here. I think we should invest um, again. Oh, that's so fantastic to see. It really is wonderful. I can't get that Royal Academy just yet. That really would be absolutely fantastic to get. So I think what we will do is we're just going to boost... Waterford. Um, I want to keep this island coming in quite well here. We've got 1,454 here. What's the, what's the 1454 here as well? So we'll get a commercial base in here. We've still got 23,000 in the bank, 10,000 coming in next turn, which is excellent. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I think we have done very, very well indeed here. We really have absolutely fantastic. We've helped the Dutch build from virtually nothing to having nearly, f well, they have got two full stack armies here in the du in Netherlands, including these Royal Blue Guard and a Holland Guard. Basically they've got the Royal the Royal Dutch Guard here, which I absolutely love. I love those troops they've got there. So we've helped the Dutch possibly hold against the, the French. Um, if they can take Brussels, then they would have give themselves this Royal Na this Naval Hospital here. They may even threaten France. Paris, which would be an absolute coup de grace, it really would, and that means we could we could walk into this because we got mil indefinite military access. Remember, so that the long-term strategic sort of outlook for us is not too bad at all. We've also helped Hanover because we want them to be as strong as they can possibly be because they are at war with France, but they're also allied with the Dutch. So let's have a look who they are. They're meagre and weak, but that doesn't matter. Who knows where that might lead them? It's a pity we can't get any trade with them. That would have been nice. It's like, oh, they got a shipyard, that's why. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. Please keep your comments coming down below, my friends. It's been absolutely, you know, your comments have been absolutely fantastic. They really, really have. And look at that. Poland has taken back Hungary here from the French. The plot thickens even further, my friends. Have the French overstretched the mark? Will this French sort of empire collapse because they're just pushing too much and stretching too far? Who knows? Will it be an opportunity for us to strike? Only time will tell, my friends. But uh, whatever you do, my friends, hope you're having a good week. Please be safe, whatever you're doing. And until next time, my friends, and I haven't forgotten about naming generals. Generals will be named, but that will be in a separate video like I do with my USA one. But whatever you're doing, my friends, be safe, be careful. I'll speak to you soon. But until next time, my friends... Bye for now.